What is going on guys, my name is JJ, or I across my channel today, along to my top 5 favourite ice type Pokemon. First and foremost though, apologies for the audio in last week's top 5. Uh, my actual microphone on my headset from my computer is actually kind of broken now, so I'm having to use my actual inbuilt laptop one, so the quality is terribly poor. So um, yeah, apologies for that, but let's get into my top 5. So for number 5 we have Abominus Snow, now Abominus Snow is quite, it's just one of these Pokemon where I first, when I first got um, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, I was looking through the Pokedex just to see what Pokemon was actually in this, because I heard there's new Pokemon, which obviously there are, and um, I was looking for it, and I saw Abominus Snow, I was like, oh my god, I have to get myself one of these, so I literally went through the whole game, and I finally found um, a Snova, and then um, yeah, I um, evolved into Abominus Snow, now I was like, oh my god, I finally got Abominus Snow, yeah! Pretty, quite literally like that. So um, as you can see them on the right there, his stats aren't, aren't amazing. And just on the bottom left, you'll see it's got a ton of weaknesses. Um, and it's not resistant to a hell of a load of things either, but it has got a bunch of weaknesses. Quad weak to fire, and just a whole lot, a load of others as you can see there. Um, and his stats don't really make up for that, so it's not really an entirely good Pokemon to use. Um, however, it's got Mega Evolution, which kind of helps. But I don't know, um, Abominus is just one of the Pokemon I've just liked since I've got Pokemon Diamond. At number 4 we have Wolverine. Now Wolverine's on this list mainly because when I was going through um, Pokemon Sapphire and um, I completed the game, I was going for the Pokedex. Um, the only re real way to level up on that game was that you'd go through the Elite Four again. So um, I've got, I'm in like the Hall of Fame on that like 200 times I think. I I'm not even joking either. Um, so I. I was battling the um, Elite Four, oh, what's her name? I was going to say Glaceon then, but that's a, that's a Pokemon. Um, I don't know, I can't remember her name now. Um, she's the third of the Elite Four in the home region. She um, is a nice type trainer and she's got a Wolverine. So that's why I always saw Wolverine. And eventually I decided to actually train one up myself and use it and I actually really liked it. It's got very good HP stat. Um, the rest of his stats are fairly even now, apart from the speed, obviously it's quite a slow Pokemon. It hasn't got too many weaknesses, however, um, it's, yeah, his stats kind of make up as well for that. And like I said, it's a very good Pokemon to use. Um, its moveset is pretty decent as well, especially obviously in, in the um, later versions, later games of Pokemon, because obviously there's new moves in introduced that um, you can learn. So, um, Wolverine's a very good Pokemon, that's why I put him at number 4. And number three is Glaceon. Glaceon is actually the first of any two Pokemon that are a pure ice types in this top five. Now, Glaceon, if you've been watching my um, Pokemon Platinum series, you'll see that I actually went up and leveled up a Glaceon. That's the first time I've ever actually used Glaceon. I never actually had a Glaceon in my team ever for a Pokédex or anything. So that was the complete first time. I really liked using it. It's got um, a special attack. is phenomenal. His special attack is so good, as you can see, obviously, his speed, defense, and HP are pretty bad. It's, um, uh, no, attack, sorry, his defense is really good, and his special defense is pretty decent as well. It's a pure ice, so it's only got the four weaknesses, fire, rock, fighting, and steel. So, um, it can wall a fair amount of things with his defense down, and then, obviously, his special attack is just unbelievable. Um, give that thing blizzard, and you're going to be, like, rocking in the sweeps. I'm not even joking. Um... Using Glaceon on Pokemon um, Platinum was really good and quite helpful as well for the Elite Four. And I think that's why I put him at number three. At number two, we have Lapras. Now, I really, really like Lapras. Lapras is a really good Pokemon. I like it how um, on X and Y, you actually kind of see the Pokemon when you're surfing on it. Whereas, the other, when obviously, other games and other Pokemon in that game, you just kind of sat on like a blue blob. Just like... You like crouched over on it, just surfing around. Well, this you like proper sat on it. It was really cool. Um, that's just one thing I quite like about that brass, especially in obviously X and Y. The other thing is that it's a very good Pokemon to use. Um, it starts like again are uh, quite evened out, apart from speed and HP. Speed being quite bad, and the HP just being unbelievably good. So give that thing um a leftovers, and you'll be doing quite decent. Imagine that a lap brass with leftovers, Aqua Ring, what? Well, oh, and Water Absorb. That'll be pretty good actually. Um, I don't know, Lapras is just again one of those Pokemon I genuinely like, it's just um, something I naturally like and I think that's why it's at number 2. At number 1 we have Beartick, now Beartick I think for me personally was by far my favourite ice type. When I, I guess, this, this, these always go back to um, when I first looked through Pokedexes, but when I was first looking through the Unova you know, Pokedex, um, I got a book that has it all in, so I bought the book when I got the games, 
And I was so better because I was like, oh my god, I need one of these. It looks so badass. It just looks so amazing. It's attacks that's really good. Speed is quite bad, and the rest of it is pretty much evened out. Um, obviously, the pure ice type again. That's the second of the foot of the um, two pure ices. So um, obviously, it's got the fighting steel, rock, and fire weaknesses. Um, I don't know. Better is just a very strong Pokemon to use. If you give it um, out of a nature, which is what I usually do, um, they don't tend to use very many um, uh, special uh, ice moves with it. I mainly give it um, avalanche. Just so, um, obviously, because the speed is quite slow, it's going to get hit most likely. So, giving it out of light will be quite helpful. Um, I don't know, Bertic is just one of those Pokemon I naturally like, and by far, I naturally like it the most. Thank you everyone for watching. Again, this is my own personal top 5. This isn't the top 5 strongest or quickest or anything like that. It's just my personal favourites. Um, my personal favourite ice time, so please let me know in the comments below what you thought of my personal favourites. Let me know as well who, if you would change any of those around, who who you would add in there, who your favourite ice type is. So I'd love to hear what you guys, what your guys' favourite ice types are. Thank you again for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and I'll see you all next time for another Pokemon video. Goodbye.